Welcome back to our channel guys. Today is another grocery haul. So today I have been to Aldi Australia. If you are new here, we are a minimalist family of seven, living big with less. So I try every week to keep our grocery budget under $150. And today I'm also gonna show you how I use my planner to meal plan and get my grocery list together so that I can shop efficiently. And so if you're interested in seeing that, stick around. So guys, what I do every week before I go grocery shopping is I write a list. I just cannot be trusted without a list. And one of the little tricks that I use is I write both my grocery list and my meal plan into my planner. I have a like one page a day planner and I tend to use my planner more like a to-do book. So I get up in the morning, I write out what I'm gonna, what I want to get accomplished in the day or if there is something gone, I will often write that, but I also mirror that into my online digital calendar but this is what I use for my groceries and my meal plan always, always. The reason I do this is one, so I've got a list for when I go shopping. Two is that I can refer back to my old lists and see like what did I buy last week? Um, do I need that again? I can also see how long a product has lasted. So for example, something like laundry powder where I might only buy that once a month every five to six weeks, I can go back in my calendar and I can see when I bought laundry powder last and then how long that box has lasted us. And it's so helpful to work out if something is really a good deal or not. So just because it's the cheapest price doesn't make it a good deal. The other thing I do is to do a meal plan in my planner as well. So I don't tend to stick to like a certain meal on a certain day. I will map it out that way, as in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but it's really just whatever works best on that day. And then I can change it as I need to on the fly. So the other reason that I find it really good is because I can see like when I've done special things with the kids or if I've bought something special and we did something for that. I've also got a record if I buy anything for kids church and it's all in one place and I can refer back to it as often as I need. And if I am at the grocery store and I'm not 100% or if I am at Aldi, let's face it, that's where I do most of my shopping. If I'm at Aldi and I don't know if I've bought it, if I need to get it or not, I can refer back to my last grocery list and if I didn't buy it then, I probably need to buy it now. So it's just like a little way that I can sort of keep track of what I've bought, what I've got at home, how long things are lasting, and I've also got my meal plan with me all the time. So I also sort of plan for eating out. So for example, this week, there's like a Subway here in Australia are having a deal where if you buy one, you get one free and they'll give one to someone through our food bank here in Australia. And so I really wanted to do that. That was gonna be a really cost effective way of us having a meal out this week. So I planned for that in my meal plan every week because mamas, having knowing you're gonna have a free night is so much more satisfying than giving up at five o'clock, I guarantee you. So I hope that you found this little tip helpful and now I'll show you the haul. So I will start over here. This is rice milk I buy it every week. It's $1.60 a litre and I buy at least 12, so we're completely out. So I hope this will make us the week. I bought this organic kombucha which was $2 for the bottle and it's raspberry and lemon. It's not one of the ones I normally buy, so we'll see what we think. I'll let you know. I bought some hummus. I always buy this. It's $1.60. Now, a few of these things, these three things I'm going through now, Aldi did not have a great selection of fruit and veg this week. I don't know what it was. They were missing. There was like just none of stuff and the stuff that they had was not either way overpriced or it didn't look that good and it was overpriced. So I quickly stopped in at our fruit and vegetable shop here in town. It's an organic spray free shop. 
So lots of the stuff is usually really expensive, but occasionally I can get a bargain there. So I stopped in to see what I could get. They had these little rocket apples and they were a tube. The tube was $2, which seemed okay for five apples. They had these just normal red delicious apples. They were $4 a kilo. And this pack of red capsicums was a dollar. So that was okay. So I spent $6 at the fruit shop, but everything else came from Aldi. I got a packet of mild spinach. That was $1.99. These tomatoes were $2.99 for the bag, which was a super good deal. Avocado, $1.50. Zucchini, they were $1.69 for a three pack. Sausages, these are vegetable sausages. We're a plant-based family, so everything we eat is primarily plant-based. We do occasionally buy some things that have a small amount of milk because our older children are not here with us all the time, and so it just helps for them to have some food that's similar to what they have at their other home. A dollar sixty-nine. It's for the big kids. A dollar twenty. It's light sour cream. Um, this is like Sultana brand brands and Sultanas. It is two ninety-nine. This giant box of corn flakes. You picked this one, Winnie, didn't you? It is two twenty-nine. This packet of popcorn, it's like 10 popcorns, was $2.60, I want to say. Satay sauce, $1.99. Pasta sauce, $1.30. These little electric toothbrushes were $5. I buy this popcorn for our kids' church, it was 95 cents. This is a five pack of noodles. They say chicken noodles, but there's no actual chickens in it. It was 95 cents. Pretzels, they were $2.50. Brown rice crackers, $1.20. Bagels. These bagels were $2.99 for four bagels. We have bagels on the weekend. Raisin toast, $1.80. What are these? <laughs> veggie, chips. veggie chips and they are $2.29 wipes $1.80 conditioner $4 sweet chili sauce is I want to say like $1.70 kitchen tidy bags like garbage bags there's 30 in there they were $1.70 Quick oats were $1.20. These little fruit and oat bars, you get six in a packet. They're just like dried fruit and oats. They are $2.50. These ones, they do have like whey powder in them or something, so they're not completely dairy free, but they are $2.50 as well, but you get eight of those in a packet. These are $1.50. And I think that's it. So guys, I don't know how I think maybe because there wasn't as much fruit that I could buy, so I'll probably have to go back and top up fruit. But I spent $93 at Aldi and I spent $6 at our local fruit shop. So I still came in at like $50 under budget. But I will link my meal plan down below if you'd like to see what we're eating this week. I'll probably buy some more fruit a bit later in the week um, if it's looking a bit better. This past weekend, we ticked over to over a thousand subscribers. Guys, the numbers to me really don't matter. If our videos encourage you or help you in any way, that is our biggest goal. But it has just been such a blessing and I just wanna send you 1,000 thank yous because we have been so blessed by all of our beautiful followers, the people who comment on our videos or on our Instagram or Facebook. You guys send me the sweetest messages and the joy of connecting with you guys, of you sharing with me, tagging me in your grocery hauls or showing me what your bargains you got or your big pile of stuff you decluttered. It just warms our hearts. We absolutely love to hear from you. If you're new here, we would love you to subscribe. And um, if you like this kind of video, please give it a thumbs up and we will catch you in the next one. Ah!